hello guys welcome back to tech Pritter. so today in this video we will understand the concept of areas in the mbc application so what basically areas are areas are used to divide a larger application into the smaller modules so for example if your application has your admin or your user dashboard then you can create separate areas for your admin and one for your user so benefit of using area is that maintainability of the code is easy and it is also uh, create an mdc application in an organized way so uh, let us try to understand the concept of areas by creating a simple application here so open your visual studio and then create a new project Select ASP.NET Web Application here, then enter the name of your application that is Shopping Cart. Then click on OK. Now select here MPT and add folder and core references for MBC project, and then click on OK button. Right, so uh, we have created a simple uh, MBC application. So just right click on your project and then click on add and select the option areas. Now enter the name of your areas. So if one is for admin, then you can say here admin. Then add. okay so you can see here under the areas folder admin uh, dashboard has been created and it has created separate controller model views folder for your admin now secondly we will add the user dashboard here Okay, so under areas now we have two modules, one is for admin and one is for user dashboard. Now where the routing information for areas is stored, it is stored under the areas registration file. So for the admin, you can see here, this is the route for your default route for your admin dashboard that is admin then controller and then action name and for the user. The routing information is stored inside the user dashboard area registration file okay now we will uh, try to uh, create a sample controller and view for our admin dashboard just click on controller then add controller So you can click here MBC controller with read write actions. Click on OK. Name it. Add controller. Click on add. Second. we have created your admin controller here now we will create an index view here click on index and then click on add button here now this is the admin home page so we will write here this is admin areas home page 
okay now same uh, we will we will do for our user dashboard so just right click on the controller folder in user dashboard and then click on add and the select the option controller here and mbc controller with rewrite action and name it user controller okay so inside view we will create a new index view here so this is our index view and then click on add button now on the index we will write here this this is user areas home page okay so uh, you can see here under areas folder we have created two folder one is for admin dashboard second for user dashboard so let us try to uh, run this application in the browser as you can see if we want to open the admin dashboard then our url should have this route that is admin now we will write here admin then the controller name that is admin and then in section that is index and then just try to open this page so you can see here that uh, it has now opened the index page of our admin dashboard now if you want to open the user dashboard then you have to specify here just you can see the routing information for your user dashboard from here that is user dashboard then it's controller now the controller is basically our user controller then this the user controller and it's index view so you can see here this is user areas home page so guys uh, you can see here that uh, for an mvc application we have segregated it into different modules using the areas so uh, hope you like this video and thanks for watching this